to my channel and for today's video I will be adding another M.2 NVMe SSD onto my home PC and I will also be talking a little bit about NVMe what it is and I will also be talking about differences between a SATA and an NVMe interface I will also be comparing HDD SSD and NVMe SSD when it comes to speed I also have a video about hard drive basics, the types of hard drives, types of interfaces. If you do want to check that out, it's on my channel. I will put the link in the description box below. And if you're interested to see how to install an NVMe, what an NVMe SSD M.2 is, please keep on watching. And without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Okay guys, so I've ordered this NVMe M.2 SSD. This is one is from Samsung and this is what I have ordered for my home PC same brand and model. So I just bought the one terabyte for my secondary drive because I am editing videos and I need more storage. I'm running out of storage because I only have 500 gig on my primary storage. Okay so here is my home PC and I currently have one M.2 NVMe SSD in here that's my primary storage and I will be adding one because my motherboard has two slots for M.2 so before we install it of course we have to shut it down first So here is an M.2 NVMe SSD. This is what it looks like. So it is so much smaller than the traditional hard drive that we are used to, especially in the older PCs. Now everything is getting smaller and faster. So M.2 is a form factor for SSDs. There are different form factors. The most common one is the 2.5 inch. It, where we use it for desktops. So the M.2 can be used for smaller, more mobile devices, just like laptops, but you can also use it for desktops. Okay, so there are two kinds of M.2 SSD. One is SATA and one is NVMe. So how could you tell the difference between them? So I have here an M.2 NVMe and it only has the M key. And the SATA has an M key and a B key, so that is the main difference. Also, it's very important to note that not because it's an M.2 SSD, it means that it's faster, it's gonna be faster than the regular SSD. M.2 is only a form factor, so it's just talking about the size, but if you want faster one, you should get the NVMe. NVMe uses the PCIe technology, which is known for lower latency and faster data transfer. Because each PCIe link it has its own dedicated point-to-point -point link, and it's not complete it's not competing for bandwidth compared to the older technology just like PCI and PCI X also SATA interface was designed for the older hard drives the HDDs so it has a max or a limit to its speed which is 600 megabytes per second so if you're planning to upgrade your SSD and want it to be faster make sure that you are choosing the M.2 NVMe also, another thing that is important to note is that make sure that your motherboard supports the NVMe slot. Some motherboards, especially the older ones, don't have NVMe slots. But there's also a solution for that. You can actually use a PCIe to M.2 expansion card. If you are planning to build your own home PC or gaming PC though, most of the current motherboards now has M.2 slots available, so it's very easy to install and add M.2 and VME cards. Okay, so here is my home PC. If you want to know the specific parts that I use when I build my PC, I have a video of that. If you want to see how I build my PC as well, 
you can check out my channel for those videos so i have an msi gaming edge uh, motherboard that supports dual m.2 nvme slots so i can add additional m.2 which i just ordered in here so let us install it now okay so i'm gonna show you the first m.2 ssd that i installed in here so that is where the slot is oh my fan is huge that's why it's covering it i'm trying to replace my fan with liquid cooling next time it's so big it's huge it's so hard to upgrade when you have this it's taking a lot of space anyway let us find where the other m.2 slot is so okay okay so it's labeled on the motherboard there is the second m.2 slot in there so i could fit it so here is a slot for the NVMe. These M.2 are actually not hard to install at all. You just like uh, insert it here and maybe screw it here. Because the first one, they provided a shield in here. So I think there's only one. I don't, I'm not sure if there's a second one. And I have misplaced it. But let's see what happens. Here we go. We are going to install it now. I just need a screw in there and oh my gosh so my issue right now is that it doesn't come with screw so I need to find a small screw that could fit in here or else I would it would be like dangling like that but it's pretty easy to install you don't need cables you just insert it directly to the slot okay so the Samsung uh, M.2 SSD didn't come with a screw for this, so I was looking for screws and I just decided to use the screws for the slots in here because it fits actually. So, yeah, I don't need to use one of this in here anyway, so I mean, that's fine. So, I can use this. It has to be the smaller screw. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, that one fits perfectly. Okay, so that's really cool. It's now sitting perfectly on its slot. So let us put this back together and see once it boots up what happens. So here comes the moment of truth. I'm gonna power it on. Everything is plugged in. It's booting. Let us wait. Everything is lighting up. It's booting. It is trying to maybe familiarize itself with the new hardware that we have put in and it booted okay it took a while though but we shall see okay so it booted up and everything seemed normal and so let's check our drive in here so right now you can't see it yet there's only one drive the local disk C that is because we have to initialize the disk first before we can see it and use it so if you go into your pc you can only see one for now because it's not initialized yet it's still unallocated so we need to go to disk management here create and format hard disk partitions and we are getting error mess uh and we are getting a window in here because we have not initialized the new disk so okay let's just select this one and if you right click on this 
just click on new simple volume and the wizard shows up in here and then you can assign a letter for this I'm just gonna go for D KNTFS all right so now that it has formatted we can be able to see it now so right now I do have it here so it was a success so pretty cool I have one terabyte and as you can see in here I'm almost maxing my primary which has all of my operating systems and my applications and of course my video editors now uh, since I am always editing videos I guess it's proper to have two uh, separate disk in here one is for my archived exported videos one is just for my operating systems and applications also it's best practice if you are constantly using your PC your desktop is that you have two separate drives one is just for the applications and the OS and one is for all of your digital files like all of your pictures videos music because for example what if your operating system crashes for some reason and you're not able to recover any of the files in it at least if you have another separate location for just your digital files you will be okay and you don't need to back it up because it's on another separate drive so that would be best practice for those hardcore pc and desktop users okay so we are gonna test now what the transfer speed is for the nvme m.2 i have my downloads in here from my uh primary storage let's see how what the size is so it has 18.5 gig of files videos and more so i'm just gonna transfer it over to the new drive let's see how fast the transfer speed is so as you can see it has like two three gig per second that's really fast see in just a few seconds maybe three seconds it finished transferring 18 gig of files so that is very fast for an ssd okay so if you're planning to build your own pc or upgrade your storage your ssd i think it's really good to consider nvme because it's really fast so just to compare with the hdd the older hard drive the maximum speed is 150 mbps for the ssd maximum is around 600 mbps and for nvme right now maximum is 3500 mbps which is like seven times faster than our regular ssds just think of it and they are still developing new technology so probably in the future or soon we will have more than 3500 mbps so it's gonna get faster and faster Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching and learned some, something. If you have any video requests, you can comment it down below. And I hope to do more of this hardware videos also because hardware is not my strength. It's not my expertise. So doing this makes me learn more also. And I am planning to upgrade some parts for my PC as well soon maybe the fan because my fan is really big and bulky I'm planning to replace it with a liquid cooling if I have the budget for it so watch out for other hardware videos this week. again thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys on my next videos